Hello and welcome back to another video. So we're just going to carry on from where we left off in the previous uh, episode. So I'm just going to jump over to Visual Web Developer. There's going to be a slight alteration. Instead of using 30% and 70%, we're going to change the, the width slightly. So for the sidebar, we're going to change it to 275px. And for the main content, we're going to say 500 px and go to the default page and you can see that they're the same widths now uh, I just wanted to change that back to the pixel based uh, measurement so now that we've done that we need to add a certain property to the sidebar over here so we need to add a border right and we're going to give it a one uh, pixel solid color because if we go over to the Photoshop design you can see here that we've got this little line so back over to the style sheet so on the sidebar we're going to say border right one pixel it's going to be a solid line and the color will be I think CCC is like a gray color and save that and if we go back to the default page and just do uh, start debugging so as you can see that's now opened up and we've got this one pixel line here but we need to add some spacing on this side of the main content area so it looks right. So to do this, I'm just going to minimize this web browser and just do debug, stop debugging. Make sure you keep that window open. So for the main content area over here, we need to add some padding on the left hand side just to kick the heading and the, the paragraph tag away. So if we go to the style sheet, we're going to come to the main content area which is here. I'm going to say padding uh, on the left and if we say 10 pixels and if we open up that web page again now this is probably going to break it slightly so if I hit refresh as you can see it's now jumped down here so the way to fix this because we've added an additional 10 pixels of padding that's added the 10 pixels onto the overall size of this content div so the div was 500 but it's now 510 which is causing it a problem so it's very easy to fix we go back to the style sheet here so on the main content area on the width we just need to minus 10 pixels so we say 490 now, like I said, because we've added the uh, padding on the left of 10, that still equals 500, and we're going to save that. And if we go back to the style, back to the web page, sorry, if we hit refresh, you can now see that's jumped back up, and we've now got equal spacing uh, on the side. We might want to possibly do it a tiny little bit more. So if we just go back to the style sheet, so I'm going to add about three pixels extra onto here. And we need to basically minus three pixels from here, so 87. And if we go back to the web page, hit refresh, and that's just give it a tiny little bit more, which is looking a lot nicer now. So I've added all that in. The next thing we need to do, I think, if we go back to the to Photoshop, even uh, we need to grab out some of this text. Again, I'm going to hit T on the keyboard, and I'm going to copy this again you can put in your own text I'm just copying the actual design and then I'm back over to visual web developer and then into the source view of the default page and then I'm going to open up another paragraph tag and paste the text in and then just bring this down a couple of lines so we can actually see it and then just one more paragraph is left so what I'm going to do is just copy this paragraph at the bottom and then back over into the default page and then just open up another paragraph and paste it in just sort out the, the spacing and there we go so I'm going to save that open up the web browser and I'm going to hit refresh so as you can see they're quite close together uh, so we now need to add some margin bottom to the paragraph tag so underneath because this is the first paragraph and so we'll say margin bottom which will then kick this one away and then in turn this one will kick this one away and so on so if we go back to the style sheet and if we come up the page to our p tag here and we're going to say margin bottom we'll just say 10 pixels 
and then we'll open that up in the web browser and hit refresh. And as you can see, we've now got nice 10 pixels of padding. I think if we do it a tiny little bit more just to make it a little bit more readable, so we'll say 15, hit save and preview that again, hit refresh, and I think now that separates it quite nicely and we've now got all of that text in. Uh, if we go back to the Photoshop design, I believe we're nearly finished. So we're going to click this icon at the top to come out of the text tool. So we now need to add in these list items. Um, and then we've just got this section here to make. So for the list items, we're going to use an unordered list. So if we go back over to the default page. Now we want to be creating this inside of the sidebar. So it will basically be underneath here. So back to the source, and then we want to come below the P tag here, and we want to crack open a UL, and then we're going to add in some list items. And inside of the list items, there's going to be a link. So a href. So a is for anchor, and href is basically how where the link's going to go. Um, so for now, we'll just say default. And again, I'm just going to call this, I'll just call this link one for now and save that. And I'm going to copy the list item for speed, paste in the one next to it, just paste in a few of them like that. And we'll just change one, three, two, three, four, and five. Save that. And if we just preview that in a web page, hit refresh. And we've now got these five links, uh, which they don't really look that great at the moment, let's be honest. We need to style them. Um, so let's just have a look at what they look like in Photoshop. So, yeah, basically there's just a few links and we've got like a little sort of icon here. Um, and they've actually moved in a little. Ours are right on the edge here, so we need to move them in um, and actually style them up. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same font and same colour. Uh, and they've also got a line underneath list item. So that's quite easy to achieve. So if we come over here, so on the UL here, we're going to give it an ID and we're going to say, we're going to call these, uh, I don't know, sidebar links like that. So I've now got a way to target that. So I'm going to copy this sidebar links. I'm going to go into the style sheet and come down the page to the sidebar here create a bit of space so I'm going to say a UL with a class of sidebar links so we're going to say width set that, oh, set that to auto the height will set to auto as well but what we do need to do we need to say margin left We'll say 30 pixels. We need to basically move it in 30 pixels on the left hand side. So if we go to the default page and design. So looking at that, nothing's actually moved. So we've got an issue somewhere. So if we just go back to the style sheet. So looking at this, the problem is the fact that I gave it a class and not an ID. So it's a UL with an ID of sidebar links, not a class because the classes start with dots or periods, however you want to say it. Uh, so now if I go to the default page, you can now see the list items have now moved in 30 pixels. Um, so I'm going to kick it in a tiny bit more, I'm going to say 35. And that's now in. So we've got that bit sorted. The next thing we want to do, come back to the style sheet and we want to say a UL with an ID of sidebar links that has a list item we'll say the width is auto and the height is auto as well again I'm having trouble spelling so auto if we go back to the design nothing's really changed uh, but like I said it's now got an auto width if I just go back to the Photoshop design, what I'm going to do, just so it looks the same, I'm going to grab the text tool. I'm going to grab this bit of uh, text here and copy it. Come back over here and go to the source of the default page 
and I'm just going to change all of these so I can actually get it to look like the actual Photoshop design. Paste these in, and then the final one, like that. And I'm just going to preview that in a web page and hit refresh. And there you go, that's now starting to take shape as what our uh, Photoshop design looks like. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here because I've run over my time. So I just want to thank you for all your support so far in all of my videos. Uh, I'm nearly hitting a thousand subscribers, which is just fantastic. Uh, I can't believe how, how much it's grown in the last two months. Um, so like I said, please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.